Hey YouTube, uh, just want to make an update because I just went on vacation and got some new pets. So, got some new terrariums still and wanted to show you. So, here we go. Um, first of all, I got this cool one. Um, there's like logs, you're supposed to look like trees. Um, I think it looks pretty cool. I got the idea off uh, another guy's video on YouTube. I don't know what his name is, but might try to find it. It's got like tiger salmon or something in there. It looks pretty cool. And uh, right now I got some, I got a wood frog, a leopard frog. Um, and a spring peeper, which I'm probably not going to be able to find because he's really tiny. And um, I have some salamanders I want to show you. So, uh, yeah, see if I can find some. I got like a fern, that plant, a vine, another vine. So yeah. There's the wood frog. If you can see it. See, it's kind of hard to see. Got the masked face. Looks pretty cool. They're pretty neat frogs because they can be in a terrestrial setup. Oops. Hold on. I'm gonna set the camera down so I can get out a couple sound manners. Oh, actually, I can find the spring peeper. He's sitting right there, so that's lucky. On the back of the glass. Didn't think I'd see him, but yep, pretty neat. Got the cross on his back. Oh, uh, here, let me get the salamanders though. He just jumped out from where they were hiding. Yeah, you can't even see the colors. Come on. See? Let me just put them on the grass. Is so that the long tail salamander? They live in uh, the Appalachian Mountains. Pretty cool. Um, they're really hard to catch though. So, you gotta find them under stones and stuff, but they're really, really hard to catch. And I uh, got a couple of slimy salamanders too. I'll show you one. Uh. There's a slimy salamander. Uh, if you pick these up in the wild, you should bring gloves because they secrete a slime. They're more like a glue, like their name uh, suggests. Um, and it's, it takes forever to get off your hands. So if you get this type of salamander, you better be ready for that. Until they become tame. Like When they become tame, they'll stop secreting it when you pick them up. But they're not really recommended to pick up salamanders unless you gotta move them out of their cage or something. Because they are amphibians with sensitive skin. But, uh, get out the next one and show you. I have a dusky, it's called a northern dusky salamander. They live in the Appalachian Mountains too. Pretty cool. You see them right there. They're really nice ones. They got, uh, sometimes like that one they have like a yellow tail. Sometimes they can have a red tail. It really just, they have tons of different patterns. Like. And had a red back, but it's hiding. Uh, let me see if I can find the leopard frog. 
Nope. There's a lopper frog. Try to get him out for you guys to see. Oh, no, he got under the moss, so can't show you. Sorry. But he's really fast and stuff, so. Um, yeah, so that's the terrestrial stuff. Um, but <laughs> just take uh, advantage of this moment. There's uh, my day gecko, and on the front of the glass, and there's my dwarf gecko. That's pretty funny. Um, I got some Easter newts in here. Um, they're really neat newts. I really recommend these as a starter herb because they're really neat. Here's one. They're not that big though. See, that's to my hand. See, this has an under gravel filter, but I'm going to change it and put them in here. And I'm going to get some different kinds of newts for this tank. 29 gallon, because there's nothing in it. So yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Get a different, I might get an axolotl for this tank. Because I'm not going to be using it for anything else. Might as well get axolotl, because they're pretty cool. Um, yeah. They come in different kinds, and they're also called red spotted newts. I don't know if you can see, but on his, like, back almost, there's a bunch of red circles with, or red dots with, like, black in the middle. They're pretty neat. Uh, they eat worms. That's their favorite. And they like, they like a lot of things. They, they all they need is really this. I plan to get them a land platform, but they don't really need it. You can keep them in a fish tank. Got a uh, underground filter and stuff. Yeah, just like quiet filtration because they usually are in lakes. So, yeah, just quiet filtration, big gravel so they can't swallow it. Feed them some worms. Pretty easy pets. You, they can go in room temperature water or cooler. So, I still got a catfish right there. Sorry, it's so blurry. I don't know why this tank is so blurry. There you go. A little better. Um, yeah, that's. Oh, yeah, I have uh, one more thing I can show you. Is um, this millipede I got? my tree frog tank caught this millipede it's giant pretty cool they he just I don't even know what he's eating but he's He's been fine. They're really easy pets a millipede because all they need is lettuce and put leaf litter at the bottom of their cage and that's it. So, um, there's my update. Another look at that salmon terrestrial tank. Pretty cool. Um, if you guys want to know how to, like, set up this tank, I could show you. It's very easy. Um, and how to care for those newts or any of these salamanders, I can tell you. Because they're really easy to care for. So that's my uh, Deep Creek Lake update. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Watch out for future videos. Rate, comment, subscribe.